Use of EDR data has become an indispensable tool to investigate traffic accidents, expose insurance fraud, and investigate auto claims. In this video, we'll explain what an EDR is. We'll talk about the types of data or data elements that are typically captured in event data recorders. We'll talk about the tools and methods used to retrieve EDR data. And finally, we'll discuss how EDR data is used and who uses it. EDR stands for Event Data Recorder. EDRs are part of a vehicle's airbag computer that's installed in a vehicle during the assembly process. EDRs are sometimes referred to as the black box of an automobile. The airbag computer's main purpose is to tell the car exactly when to deploy an airbag when a crash occurs. To do that, the airbag computer needs to gather lots of information about what the vehicle is doing in real time. Things like vehicle speed, brake status, etc. Much of that information is recorded to the EDR when a crash occurs. EDRs do not constantly record data. An event, typically the result of a crash, must occur to trigger the EDR to record data. There are two types of events that will cause this to happen, a deployment event and a non-deployment event. A deployment event occurs when a safety system in a vehicle is deployed, the most common of which is an airbag. A non-deployment event occurs when a vehicle experiences a very sudden speed change, most typically from a crash, that meets a trigger threshold that is less than the trigger threshold required to deploy an airbag. The most commonly used types of data contained in an EDR include Delta V. Delta V represents the speed change that a vehicle experienced during the crash. This can be used to determine the severity of the impact. In addition, most EDRs record at least 5 seconds of pre-crash data. Pre-crash data is exactly that, pre-crash. Pre-crash data elements include things such as vehicle speed. So how fast was the vehicle traveling 5 seconds before impact, 4 seconds before, and so on. Other pre-crash data elements include brake status, throttle position, steering input, seatbelt status, occupant detection, and more. Auto manufacturers are not limited to the amount and types of data that are made available. Many existing systems contain other useful data elements beyond what was just mentioned. As vehicle technology continues to advance, more and more data elements are being added to EDRs. Things such as video images, geolocation, and others, although not widely available today, may be integrated into future EDR systems. Known as EDR retrieval tools, specialized software and hardware are needed to access and download EDR data from a vehicle. The Bosch CDR tool is used to retrieve EDR data from cars made by the majority of auto manufacturers. Over 50 brands of vehicles are supported by the Bosch CDR tool. Hyundai, Kia, and Tesla have their own EDR tools to retrieve EDR data from their vehicles. Using these tools, there are two methods used to retrieve the data. EDR data can be downloaded by connecting to a vehicle's OBD port, which is the same connector mechanics use to access trouble codes and perform smog checks. For severely damaged vehicles, EDR data can be downloaded by connecting directly to the airbag computer using a corresponding connection cable. The retrieved data is the same regardless of which method is used. Law enforcement and private accident reconstructionists use EDR data as part of their accident investigations and reconstructions. Things such as vehicle speed, delta V, steering input, and brake status can be used with other accident investigation methodologies to paint an accurate picture of how a traffic collision occurred. Insurance companies use EDR data to expose insurance fraud and determine liability in auto insurance claims. EDR data provides valuable evidence in hit while unattended claims, who hit whom first claims, occupant detection, i.e. jumping claims, and many more. It is also used to determine the potential for bodily injury based on impact severity. You can find videos that go into more detail on these types of claims on the Crash Data Group YouTube channel. The auto manufacturers themselves, as well as independent vehicle safety researchers, use EDR data and these same EDR tools as part of their safety engineering and research. For more information on EDR retrieval tools and how using EDR data can benefit you and your organization, visit CrashDataGroup.com or call us at 800-280-6800.
7940.